Lectio Divina, literally divine reading, is an ancient practice of communing with God and spending time increasing in the knowledge of his word. The reading set for today opens with that very well-known phrase, in the beginning was the word. And so it seems very appropriate for us to spend time with this spiritual practice of dwelling in the word. There are many ways of approaching Lectio Divina, and maybe you've done it before, but traditionally the monastic communities that use this approach would structure it into four phases. Reading, meditating on that meaning, praying, and then contemplating the Word of God. Ours will be a little simpler today, but will retain the essence of the practice which intends us to open ourselves to hear what God is saying without preconception and without critical analysis. There are no right or wrong answers here. Bible commentaries aren't so useful. What you hear from God today is valid in its own right. is living and active. It judges the thoughts and intentions of the heart. All is open and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we give account. Therefore, we confess our sins in penitence and in faith. O King, enthroned on high, filling the earth with your glory, holy is your name. 
Lord God Almighty. In our sinfulness we cry to you to take our guilt away and to cleanse our lips to speak your word through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father forgive you by the death of his Son and strengthen you to live in the power of the Spirit all your days. Amen. Loving God, you gave us Jesus Christ and let him share our poverty. He brought us grace upon grace, for all that comes from you is a free gift. Accept our thanks for the moments when we accepted your gifts and shared them with one another. Accept our thanks for the times we listened attentively to your son's words and put them into practice. Help us go forward with hope and joy, with joy and mutual encouragement in the companion in life you have given us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> As we now approach our time of Lectio Divina, we're going to hear the reading for today, the prologue from John's Gospel, three times. Each time it will be read slowly and prayerfully so that you can let the words flow over you. During the first reading, listen to the words and hear them again, but afresh and without preconception. Then, during the second reading, as you listen to the words again, at the same time focus on what is going through your mind as the reading continues. Look out for just one word in the passage that really jumps out at you. There will then be a few moments of silence for you to ponder upon that one word and why it might be important for you. Finally, during the third reading, as the words are read again, seek to listen to what God is saying to you through this passage and into your own situation. It may well be expanding on what your one word was, or you might completely change your mind. Journeys don't always go in straight lines. 
and again. There will be silence in which you can ponder upon what it is that God is saying to you today. Don't worry about remembering all that. There will be prompts on the screen as we go along. Let us pray. Lord, come by your Holy Spirit to each one of us now. Reveal your word to us in ways afresh and speak a new word to us today. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, 
but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light upon our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all people in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now join in with me in proclaiming God's truth. The word of life which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. The darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The word of life which was from the beginning. That which we heard, which we saw with our eyes and touched with our hands, we proclaim to you. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of life, which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you.
teaching of Jesus. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Go now to do God's will. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.